Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and today we are, I just hit myself in the face with my little shirt tag. Today we are packing for Corey and I's month long trip to Florida and I am so excited. I've got my McDonald's diet soda for some fuel for the next few hours, but we are going to Florida for the next month. So we leave tomorrow, which is February 21st, and then we come back March 22nd, but we think that we're gonna extend. So because Corey and I work fully remote, it means that we can work from anywhere, and because my dad lives in Florida, I also feel like this is kind of suffocating me. Because my dad lives in Florida, we love to go and visit him for like a month during the March, like end of February, March, into beginning of April time. It's so, so brutally cold in New England that I start getting grumpy, aggravated, aggy, I just like, I don't like the cold and even if it's sunny out, it's still literally freezing and I don't enjoy that. So we always make it a point to better ourselves and we work and we go to Florida. We are going to Disney with my dad when we're down there for just a quick little four day weekend, which will be great. So subscribe if you like some Disney videos. We also do a ton of travel around here. So if you like regular travel as well, subscribe. We love to go to Europe, my fiance and I, and I just have a really good time vlogging and traveling. So stick around, but we have a lot to get done today I have not packed we leave in 24 hours which is fine I normally do that I find that I work better just like packing and getting everything organized and put together so I do a lot of travel pack and prep with me is when I'm traveling for a week or for Europe or anything for smaller periods of time I always make my like handwritten list before I start packing for this I do literally the exact opposite. The way that I pack for a full month could not be any more different than the way that I pack for a total, like a different standard trip because we're going there to physically live. What I love to do is I go upstairs where all of our summer stuff is and I pull everything out. Like I look at everything that I have, I see what kind of shorts I have and I separate things into categories. Like these are my short sleeves, these are my tank tops, my dresses, my rompers, my athletic shorts, my bike shorts, my denim shorts, my linen shorts, bathing suits, beach cover-ups. I separate everything out so that I can see everything, right? It's not like I'm pulling things from my closet, I'm pulling things out of bins. So I wanna be able to see it. So we're definitely gonna start with that. And I also need to talk about travel with toiletries, how to pack your life away, right? Like I'm bringing my Stanley, Yeti, my Kindle, jewelry, perfumes, little things that I might need within a month's time. So it is a little bit more intricate for packing, but this is really long intro, really chatty. I'm, I've only had this much of this and the more I drink, the more chatty I'll be. But let's get into it. We're gonna go upstairs and we are gonna just take everything out of the bins, get it organized and start packing for Florida. So we are upstairs and here's all the summer stuff. All this is just like a hot mess dumpster fire. Those hats, this is my new beach bag, but that's not going to Florida. And then these are, this is Corey's summer bin. That bottom one's like a little bit of mix of things. And then I've got my beach bags. These are my two summer bins. An additional beach bag is in here. So we'll see. But like I said, I want to go through both of these bins and just separate everything out, get it organized all on the floor up here. That way, once I decide what I am going to take and I have my notebook up here on the dresser, then we'll be able to dive in and start getting a little bit more organized. All right, so we've got everything laid out, bathing suits, sweatshirt. My mom has some of my beach cover-ups, shirts, pajamas, shorts, jean shorts, just, just like a ton of stuff. So basically, my mom's idea was we're going to take everything that I want to pack rather than a list and then throw everything that I think I want to take in this bin and then we can dive into it a little bit more in detail downstairs, but it just makes more sense to bring everything down in the bin rather than make a list if I can see everything in front of me. And then I do have a few things downstairs that will need to go, but now basically what we'll do is we'll just take everything because I'm going for so long, it just I feel like makes more sense to do it this way. And I feel like it's a good idea because as much as I pack with the list for my other trips it's because it's very more outfit outfit specific but here I'm just packing for a month of just clothing so it's a little bit different I'm not trying to like outfit pack right so it's like living um so we're gonna get into this now and then I'll check in with you when we try to make a little bit of progress I have made and with my mom some really really good progress so I just wanted to kind of chat through like what we were thinking about doing so originally I was really excited to make a list like what I had said was I lay everything out which you all saw and then normally I'll go in and write a list of without even deciding what I want it's like okay 
pile of jean shorts, I'll bring three. Pile of biker shorts, I'll bring two. Sweat shorts, I'll bring four because I wear them almost every day. So I was going to make a list and I literally brought my notebook and my pen and my pad upstairs. But then my mom had made such a good point and she was like, we're already here. Why don't you actually talk it out loud? You have your empty summer bins, dump everything as you want it into the bin. And then when you bring that bin downstairs, we can start maybe categorizing some outfits. Think about what you do and don't need to bring. And I felt like that was so much smarter. I feel like I'm even still like learning how to pack right for a month. It's a little bit different, but that is something that I really enjoyed is talking it out with someone. I tried on a few pairs of my shorts. I would always recommend that like at the beginning of really, I think like every and any season, it is really important to just like try on your shorts, try on your bathing suits before you go on vacation so that you know when you get there, everything that you're putting on your body, you love, you feel confident in, you feel really good in. And I think that's something that I wanted to make sure, especially going to Florida, making sure that I was feeling good. So with that all being said, this is still a really good pack and I'm enjoying the way that I'm packing. So let me show you now basically the one bin that I do have. I do have more downstairs, so my mom and I need to kind of go through it, and organize it a little bit more. I am happy to have help from my mom. If she wasn't here, I normally use Corey as like my soundboard, but let me show you what I have so far. These are the two items that we have ready to go. This bin is all of my clothes. That's just like stuff I'm not bringing. This bin is full from top to bottom with clothes. Not everything in here is going, but it's everything in the moment that I wanted. There's shoes at the top, shorts, tank tops, t-shirts, everything is in here. This is my beach bag that I'm bringing, and then just like our two little odds and ends beach bags things. This is the best beach bag I own. It is waterproof, and you just have to like spray it down. It's from the paper store, but it's Lily Pulitzer. The straps are beautiful, nice and thick, and it folds down into almost nothing. We brought it last year and loved it. So, now I'm gonna go downstairs and get this all organized. So I walk into our room, and this is Corey. He's got the Disney Channel in the background. His hat's on. This is how Corey's packing. This is exactly how I'm going to pack once I get myself organized. But I really do love this idea of putting everything out. How do you feel like you're packing right now? And do you have any kind of like tips and tricks for how you're even packing? I'm just packing for what I have assessed with me right now. Yeah. We have a bunch in... Let me turn the light on because you do look a little dark. We have Go ahead. a bunch in the wash right now, which actually I need to flip. So thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Um... My dilemma right now is which golf shirts to bring. Now, yeah. I'm going to bring golf shirts to wear golfing. Yeah. But I have ones that I like wearing out. Out and about to dinner with me, that Correct. stuff. So I'm trying to figure out which ones are the golfing ones, which ones are the going out ones. Yeah. Because gotcha. Because obviously I like wearing a polo in general, just going out because it's short sleeve, it's nice and it's tidied up. But yeah. I don't want to do like an obnoxious print going out to dinner, you know what I'm saying? Right. So this is good. Corey's got everything on here. We will not pack in packing cubes when we travel just because there's too, too much. much to bring. But Corey's going to pack on the bed and do all of his stuff. And then when he's done, I will pack my stuff on the bed. Stuff is brought down. Like I just showed you, Corey is still packing on the bed, getting a good amount of stuff like organized for himself. Once he's done on the bed, then I'll come in and do like literally the exact same thing that he's doing. He's doing a really good job just keeping himself organized. But I went ahead and made two of my lists for my electronics, our stuff that we need for our Disney trip, miscellaneous items that you don't think about that you use on an everyday basis, and then I made a toiletries and accessory list. So I'm gonna put those up on the screen and let's walk through my list. I will say a big tip when it comes to list making, like I mentioned before, I was originally gonna make a list for clothes, but for this especially, some stuff we already have at my dad's, some stuff we don't, some stuff is stuff I use every day. And when you're going somewhere to live, right, for four weeks, it's very different than when you're going on a week vacation. So I recommend really breaking things out. So we do have five sections of my list that we're gonna go over today. We're gonna talk about toiletries, my accessories, electronics, work and personal, cause we are working there, my Disney stuff and miscellaneous. So we are going to go through all of those right now and let's get into it. So to start out with toiletries, these are the toiletries that I need to pack. First is my hair mask and my detox shampoo, my drunk elephant serum, my face wash and my face lotion, sunscreen, my lip mask, and my lip scrub, my sleeping mask, my hair products and paste, so that's like my spray and conditioner, my heat protectant, those kinds of things. My hair tools and brushes, you know, curling iron, straightener, those kinds of things. My medicine for my eczema. Now, normally in Florida, my eczema will go away almost like literally overnight, but I always bring my medicine just in case. My headband and my towel wrap. My headband is that like 
big towel that will keep your hair out of your face when you're washing your face in the morning and then my towel wrap for after the shower my makeup and my makeup wipes deodorant and perfume so that's everything in like toiletry we have shampoo conditioner body wash razors tampons all that stuff already at my dad's next in the accessories category is jewelry so i need like one or two pairs of earrings my necklaces my you know I, literally jewelry what it says i don't know why i'm making it so complicated for myself i am gonna bring two pairs of sunglasses my dad has one of my pairs that i left down there before my hair stuff i recommend like breaking this stuff out so i need my clips my scrunchies my ties and my bobby pins I need my sticky boobs and my ring dish for my engagement ring because i don't like to sleep with it and i like to make sure that it is in its own little dish and compartment rather than putting it back in the box or just taking it off and leaving it somewhere so i always like to have a home for that next let's talk about electronics so we are an electronic couple we're both going down there to work i do youtube and we have a podcast so the amount of electronics that we have is a lot if you're not someone that does those things then you do not need this many electronics like we just have electronic things that we use and I vlog and I have a podcast with my fiance it's a Disney podcast so we just have a lot of electronics that we need so this is just a big broken out list but for work and my work stuff I need my laptop and the charger my mouse my headset my charger my keyboard my planner and my pens the keyboard has a question mark because we visit my dad once or twice a year for longer periods of time a wireless keyboard is only I think they're around like eight to $15 on Amazon. So I'm wondering if I just don't bring mine and buy one to keep down there rather than having to worry about the little chips getting lost. So that's one thing. Then I broke it out into my personal. So then we have my laptop, my laptop's personal charger, my hard drive, my SD card, and the reader that goes into my phone, all of our podcast equipment, my tripod I'm using right now, and my handheld tripod. My AirPods, my AirPod Maxes, my big ones, my camera that I'm vlogging on, my camera battery charger, my phone charger, my Kindle, and my Kindle's charger. So a lot in electronics, again, I think that because I am vlogging and we do the podcast, there's more, I'm like literally falling over my slippers, because we just do that kind of stuff, there's just more electronics that go into it. And then the last two items are Disney and miscellaneous. So just to go high level over Disney, I need my ears. We use reusable straws because Disney has a no plastic initiative. So they don't have plastic straws and they're paper and it's just way too hot. Then we bring our magic bands and potentially my pin lanyard. I'm going to dabble in maybe some pin trading. Haven't quite decided yet, but we'll see. And then last but not least is miscellaneous. These are things that I use every day or interchange that you almost don't think about packing when you go on vacation because you don't need them but we're going to live for four or five weeks not just vacation so my stanley water bottle of course two of my yetis one for my iced coffee and then one for the pool slash beach i'm gonna bring two baseball hats no more no less i'm really gonna try to stick to two i do want to bring one physical book i don't know which one yet but i do like to have a physical book not just my kindle so i'm excited to pick a physical book to bring and then i always bring two fanny packs one that i wear on and then one to interchange it might be a little smaller maybe a different color to spruce it up so with that that is the packing like extra items list i think it's really important when you're thinking about going somewhere for a really long time listing out in handwriting is just really great and i like to be really meticulous we are going of course to live so we can just pick up something if we need it but it is nice to know everything is written out and i won't forget something especially electronics those are really expensive if we forgot something so that is where we are at right now. I'm feeling in a really good spot. I need to go through a few of my clothes and such with my mom just to have like a voice of reason, a little bit of like a back and forth. What What is it called again? I was just going to say it, like someone to bounce your ideas off of, like your wall, whatever I'm trying to say. But I'm going to let Corey finish up packing and then we will touch base and get back to our packing together because we need to check a bag and check another bag and a carry-on and a personal item. So I've got a lot of space, but... We just need to make sure that everything fits and gets organized very, very well. My mom and I just went ahead and took everything out of the bin besides like bathing suits and stuff. And I had a few other things that I had to add onto here. So we've got t-shirts, oversized t-shirts, sweats and jeans, dresses, some pajamas, shorts, athletic shorts, tank tops, regular shorts, sweat shorts. There's just a lot. So this is what I like to do when I am packing is I like to just get everything in piles and then you can kind of see what looks like there's a lot. Obviously this one that's sticking out like a sore thumb is the t-shirt pile. 
I have an obsession with t-shirts and bathing suits, so this one I know I need to bring down. This I don't need that many of, and even the jean shorts, like I'm not gonna gravitate towards jean shorts that much. So now what I like to do when, like I mentioned, packing for an entire month is just kind of go through a lot of this and say, okay, what is a definite yes? So if I have five jean shorts here, let's pick the two or three definites, and then after that, let's pick through if there's maybe one or two more or if they can go away. So. That's what my mom and I are gonna do now. All right, so pardon the mess, because everything is just bananas and Corey's still packing, but this whole entire section we just got rid of, so we cut basically another like foot to foot and a half worth of clothing, which is great. And then everything over here is what I am taking. So I have my Disney ears, shirts, shorts, sweat shorts, because I wear them every day, pajamas, everything in here is good. Now we just need to get underwear, socks, bras, and a lot of that little stuff put and packed away. All right, so I changed my shirt because at first I took off my little lemon sweatshirt and put on my bathrobe, but then I took that back off and just threw this nice, like, comfy sweatshirt on. It's got a few little, like, makeup stains on it, so I just wear it as, like, a grungy sweatshirt. But right now we are pretty much done with packing clothing. The only thing that needs to get packed is bras, socks, and underwear, and like that kind of stuff, but there's some stuff in the washing machine that we want to take with us. I got new underwear just from Victoria's Secret. They were having a sale, so I want to bring like my new really comfy stretchy underwear. Now we're going to focus on travel toiletries. Now, I had mentioned before that a tip that I have is when you are traveling somewhere for a really long length of time, we are, like I said, going to Florida for a little bit over a month, and there are things that I need. I just wanted to give another tip. I always bring travel size of things that I don't use often but are a little bit more expensive that I don't want to buy a big bottle of. So I will give you an example. Let me reach into my shower and where is it? Here it is. So here is a perfect example. I love the Way Detox Shampoo so much. I don't need to bring this huge bottle for a month and I also don't want to squirt that out of the bottle I'd rather just like not worry about it it's gonna be the same thing so instead I went to Sephora this was like two or three months ago for a different trip I ended up buying the way detox shampoo in a travel size so a lot of things like that I will buy in a travel size that I keep with me all the time I also use the way leave-in conditioner and then behind me whoop, my finger this is my hair mask that I will bring as well so that's just like I would say quick tip when it comes to traveling for like longer periods of time that you can buy stuff there I will never spend $45 on a full-size product for something for a month that I don't use every day I use that detox shampoo probably once every other wash maybe once every 10 12 days so I won't go through the bottle I won't even go through the small size so it just makes more sense to bring a smaller bottle rather than something bigger and spending just like a ton of money I've got my list in the other room I'm gonna go grab that and now I need to pack up my toiletry bag so I've gotten a lot done I finished up my toiletry bag and and my makeup bag they're currently in the bathroom sorry if my face is like a little blurry cameras being a little funny but now I thought the last thing I would do before I go to bed and really call this packing video a done is I need to get all of my electronics so let me show you all the electronics I have semi organized on the bed and then we can pack that up and I'm pretty sure we'll be done for the night. My luggage is all packed. I packed all my clothes. My luggage is 50 pounds. We're ready to go. And really, we don't have too much left over. It's just some miscellaneous stuff that will go in our final luggage. So I'm feeling really good, really excited. So let's take a look at all my electronics. All right, so we are in a slight state of chaos, but not really. So here is my list for electronics. I wanted to start with my personal. So to start, we have my laptop and my laptop charger my hard drive is in here and then I also have my SD card reader and my SD card which is currently in my camera and then I have this tripod this tripod that I'm also going to be bringing my little airpods which are over here my big ones which are right there and then I need my kindle which is here my portable phone chargers I did just buy an apple watch so I'm going to bring that and set that up once we're there and then I also have this new like travel led mirror that I'm bringing this stuff Stuff right here is stuff I am not bringing so I'm just gonna pack that away in my other organizer bag this I don't need as well it's just an extra hand sanitizer and then my camera case and then everything in here is just extra electronics I don't really need I don't think much of this on the plane I have to just triple check and compare my backpack but for the most part we are pretty much good to go in the electronic category okay and just like that packing for Florida for a month is done there's still a few little like last-minute things that we need to do like of course I didn't pack any of my 
my work stuff because we're still working tomorrow. So I'm still waiting on a lot of that stuff to be able to pack and get it ready. Pretty much good to go. I feel like this was a much better pack than I feel like what we've done in the past. I think sometimes I can be a chronic overpacker, especially when I'm not sure what I want to wear, how many of these items and things I want to bring, but I really tried to be a little bit more methodical and realistic this time because at the end of the day, he's got a washing machine. And aside from that, we all know that we buy stuff when we're down there and we wear it too. So just trying to be a little bit more thoughtful about what I'm buying, what I'm bringing, all those kinds of things. So with that being said, comment down below your favorite part of this video. It was fun packing together. I'm a little out of breath as I was running up the stairs from just switching over and putting in our fluff dry but it's about 9 30 we're gonna watch a movie with my mom before we go to bed and it was so fun to hang out with all of you today I know this was not a standard like week away packing but it was really fun and I'm so excited so subscribe if you're excited for some Florida vlogs give the video a big thumbs up all the fun things I feel like our little corner of the internet is growing and it's really fun and so exciting so thank you all so much but I love you guys so much I will see you in the next one and the next video that you're seeing we will be traveling to Florida so I love you guys so much thanks so much for being here and I will see you in the next one bye everyone